Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super super excited because this is the first video of 2017 and what a better way to start it than with an amazing doll review. This is going to be my second non-anime review and I am super super excited because like 10 minutes ago I went to the mailbox office to pick up my new Zombie Gaga doll for Monster High. This was a collaboration made by the Born This Way Foundation, uh, Lady Gaga's sister Natalie and Lady Gaga herself. And this was a limited edition that I was super, super happy to be able to snatch her up at Toys R Us. So I'm going to show you the amazing box and then we are going to unbox her. And at the end of the video, I am going to give you my thoughts and opinions about her. So let's jump right into it. So the box is this pink triangle shape. It is very similar to the one you see in her Born This Way video. It is all transparent so you can see the doll from all the different views that you are able to. Uh, right here it says the name of the doll which is Zombie Gaga, the Monster High logo, and the Born This Way foundation right there. Uh, the background is great, it is very elusive to the Born This Way video. The back has this great illustration, it is really beautiful, it gives you information about this doll. You can pause the video right here if you want to read it. And here at the bottom it tells you that the additional outfit and doll stand are in this section of the box. And now we are going to open it up. The extra outfit and the stand come back in this way at the bottom. So you have to remove everything in it. I unfortunately had to destroy the box to be able to take her out. So I'm kind of sad about it. The stand itself is pretty standard. It is made of plastic, it's black. It says Monster High right there at the bottom. It is just the typical stand. Here is the extra outfit. It comes with this some sort of shirt like button down shirt that is also a dress and it says born this way all around it it attaches by a velcro as you can see here in the back and here are the stockings they are made with this mesh material it is pretty thick so this might be very durable which is great i will try this outfit on later in the video and here is the doll outside of the packaging. It is a little bit hard to pose, so I did my best. Some of her limbs are sewn together to the outfit, so I need to remove those later. Here is how her face looks like without the bubble gum. It's a really beautiful um, makeup. The eyes are great. I truly love the heart she, they draw in it. Super beautiful. I don't know what to think about this hole right here, but I guess I can't do anything about it. So I am removing her clothes and I started to notice the details that it has. As you can see in here, it says born this way at the very inside of the blazer. It is really nice detail and I can tell they put a lot of thought into this doll. Be very careful with this opening right here because it is not very well sewn so it might fall off when if you try to remove it too hard. She also came with this amazing sleeveless shirt. It is really nice, I actually really like these details. They are the same hearts that you see in her eyes. And look at the back, oh my gosh, it's another heart. It is so great and so 
nicely detailed. I am surprised about it. Here is a look to the details in her body. She comes with this sort of like a tattoo on her neck. It's kind of hard to focus on it because it's so small, but it is very nice. And she also has her hands painted. Her knuckles says Lady Gaga. And it's really nice. I cannot wish the whole body was painted, but I guess it's too much of a hard job for a mass-produced doll. Here you can see the second outfit. It was a little bit hard to put on, but it is okay. I think I was very afraid of breaking the socks, the stockings, I'm sorry. But it looks quite nice on her. Fits nicely, very nice cut, very nice seams. It doesn't seem like it's going to fall off. It attaches by velcro in the back, as I said before. And she comes with no panties. She also came with these amazing boots. Like, these are iconic Lady Gaga shoes. I love them. They are perfect, amazing quality, amazing details. I'm going to show you one of them. The laces are there, the platform is perfect, the heel is great, it has an opening here in the back for easy removal because these are pretty hard plastic. And here at the bottom they say they have Lady Gaga's signature, really nice, they can't stay on on their own, it's very unfortunate but they fall easily. And here is a quick size comparison between my beautiful Pulip Black Lady doll and the Zombie Gaga doll by Monster High. Because no one wears pink and black better than Black Lady. So as you can see, the uh, Monster High doll is not as big as a Pulip, but they are both really beautiful. I am a big fan of uh, the Monster High dolls now that I own at least one of the 17 inch tall dolls however i am not a monster high collector because my polyp dolls are i believe that they are higher quality and the price is higher like a lot higher than a monster high doll i am back with my thoughts in this beautiful doll so how can i start let me do the same thing as i do on my polyp doll videos and i am going to start from head to feet the wig and I was kind of disappointed when I saw the official picture that showed the actual doll inside of the box because I knew her hair was not going to be the same as the official pictures. I think if you see the official pictures and Lady Gaga's picture with the doll, you will notice that she has these very beautiful and voluminous curls instead of this crappy mess. And I don't expect a lot from mass-produced dolls because always the wig is this really weird plasticky full of this sort of like um, hairspray and it looks very frizzy as you can see in this section right here this section is shorter than this and it's just a little bit of a mess and that's one of the downsides of this doll I love the color very accurate to the actual music video and it's great these glasses I am not removing them from the head because they are sewn onto them as you can see in here this section and I don't want to mess up with her hairstyle at all. Her face is truly great. Let me remove the awesome bubble gum. This is kind of hard and it really scares me to remove it. But here is the face. It is really beautiful. This is not accurate to the actual Born This Way video. I think this is more of a mo how monster hide wool and recreate this doll instead of it it doesn't look a lot, a lot like the video however i do like it a lot this outfit is definitely my favorite i think if i ever wanted a lady gaga doll it definitely had to have this outfit it is one of my favorite things from the born this way video i think she looks so amazing and everything looks great i need to tell you that you need to be careful when you are putting it on and taking it off because you know, it is a doll, it is not meant to be played with a lot, and if you check the box in one of the sides, it says 
for adult collectors so be very careful if you're going to buy this from your children my favorite part of this outfit definitely these boots girl look at those boots they are iconic lady gaga boots she wears these boots all the time they are amazing quality the details are great and i am bleeding i didn't know this <laughs> But they are really great. This outfit is definitely not my favorite. Like, it is not a screaming Born This Way to me, even though it has Born This Way written all over it. It screams art pop, like a lot of art pop to me. And however, this is a very good quality. It is very well sewn, so you don't feel like it's going to come apart easily. However, still be careful. The mesh stockings, they are great, they are really really hard and they are not that stretchy which I feel like is great so it's going to last a little bit more, this is awesome. I don't like the stand, I have no idea how to put the stand on, I tried and I couldn't so I am not going to display her with the stand. So as I told you before, I got her for Toys R Us, I got her from there mostly because at first they say that she was going to be shipped in December, however she shipped last week. And I was kind of disappointed on that, but well, what can I do, right? And I am definitely recommend her and I also going to buy a second doll because I would like to display her inside of her box. I think one of the downsides about Monster High dolls is that you have to torn the boxes apart because they are so hard to remove that I really, really wish I could have kept the box and I'm definitely going to get a second one. So if you have any question, opinion, or concern about this beautiful doll, please leave them all in the comments. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Don't forget to give me a like if you like this video. Please don't forget to check other videos that I have done in the past and subscribe for more videos in the future. So see you in the next one. Bye!